Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lewis at that convention guy collectibles, and coming to you with another uh, mail day. I think this one is going to be pretty epic. Um, not going to lie, um, just looking at the packages, you know, I have my regular envelopes, of course, and today's only five, so that's pretty cool. Um, I have one of these, but this is what excites me. This is that new eBay authentication packaging, and they don't usually do that for the low-end stuff, so today might be another one of those super epic mail days like I had last week. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with the smaller stuff first. All right, we start off with 1992 Shaquille O'Neal Classic LP1 Limited Print. Again, probably my uh, third or fourth favorite Shaquille O'Neal card. I think it was second. I think the Skybox draft was number two. But anyway, this is one of my favorites. Love it. So nice to get one of those. All right, we got some Shaquille O'Neal rookie cards. So no particular order or anything. We have the upper deck top prospects. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal closet number one. Looks like there's more than one. The Fleer rookie. There's some more of the Upper Deck Top Prospects, so we'll put those together. Another Fleer Rookie. Another Classic. This is the Fleer Slam Dunk. Sorry about the uh, constant moving up and down. Another Top Prospect. Some more of the Fleer. Some Upper Deck All-Star Rookies. And that's going to do it. All right, the only thing I check on these Fleers is sometimes you have a Fleer Drakes. Uh, it looks exactly the same, but has a different number. But these are all the regular version. So pretty cool. Same thing with these. Sometimes you get the Tony's Pizza. None of these are. That's okay. Nice little uh, shot Rookies. We got no complaints there. I'm gonna take that one out of the top loader or the uh, card saver. Perfect. So now we will move on to the big boys. Don't know, there's no particular order here, so I might have a cheap card or good cards. I'm not really sure, but let's see. Let's see if I can get this open. eBay authentication and what do we think? Shaq, McGuire, Peyton, Aaron Rodgers, who's it going to be? All right, Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, Colossal. Shield, Nike, Swoosh, Auto. This one happens to be graded 8.5 with a 10 Auto. Again, I don't normally buy Beckett slabs, but when it, I was really buying the card, the slab is just a bonus. So very, very nice. That'll look awesome in the collection. And that is a one of one. 2014. Wow. And it's player worn. Well, that's okay. Love that look. Look at that patch. Awesome signature, all the above. This is the big boy one. Yeah. So there's one. Very nice. Get rid of that stuff. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I tend to have issues with the eBay authentication stickers and the way that the cards are, you know, packaged. This one does have a flimsy kind of bag. Uh, it's not my preferred method, but I think on the shelf, I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to just leave it. And if it's not, if it drives me crazy, then I'll swap it out. But for now, we'll leave it.
Package number two. All right, you're seeing it as soon as I'm seeing it, so here we go. eBay and... Woo! That's filthy patch right there. This is a Peyton Manning Captain's Patch. That is pretty sick. That is a nice looking patch right there. Now this one is number three out of three. And some sellers, I mean, they would call it a one out of one, but <laughs> this is three out of three. Very cool. There's your eBay authentication. And let's see, this one is, material is guaranteed, but it doesn't say if it's used. So we'll just go ahead and assume that it's not. But again, very cool. So two Mannings today. All right, third one. All right, you guys can see it as I see it. There we go, the reveal. Who is it? Oh, I see Mark McGuire. Ooh, look at that. Wow. So Mark McGuire, bat knob. From Top Sterling. That card is pretty sick. Definitely a one of one. Very nice. Did it say 99? I can't tell. Uh, that knob. And it does say game used right there. Don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. That is going to be awesome in the Maguire collection. So all in all, pretty epic mail day. Three fantastic cards highlighted by the Peyton Manning, Shield Nike Patch Auto, the Captain's Patch, and a Mark McGuire Bat Knob. Again, this bag, super extra, but if it works in the collection i'll leave it and if not then i'll put it in one of my own bags but all right so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring you guys over to the mark mcguire section of my collection and the peyton manning show you guys what i already have and show you guys where i'm gonna put the new ones with uh mark mcguire i knew that this was coming i didn't know when but i knew it was coming i knew i remember that i ordered it so i had already taken some cards down to put this bat knob in its place but with Peyton Manning, I have not. So you guys are going to have to help me pick out what to take down. Because again, I'm on limited space. So if something goes up, something else has to come down. Um, so let's go take a look. All right, guys. We're here in front of the McGuire section. McGuire. Mark McGuire section. And uh, as you can see, I made a couple little spaces. What I did was I took out this guy. And that was over there in that side. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and put the bat knob there. So I have my flawless collection going. I don't wanna take those down. There's my other bat knob. So what I thought I'd do is put this on the other side. Kind of bookend the flawless collection there between the two bat knobs. So, a little darker. I mean, like, you can see that's a nice bright white card there. Sorry for the shadow. And then you have that one there. It's dark, but still cool. So, no issues with that. And now I'm going to walk over to the Peyton Manning section. And uh, this is going to be tough because I've been getting a lot of really cool high-end Mannings lately, which means that something has to come down. So, in front of the Peyton Manning section... And now I have to figure out what to take down. So, 
Looking at the cards that we received today, I have one vertical, one horizontal. So that makes it a little better. Let's start with the vertical. So this is my vertical section here. Now I'm guessing that that one right there is probably going to be the one to come down, but let's keep looking. I have a lot of Nike shields, things like that. Ooh, maybe one of those has to go. Yeah, because this one right here is a patch auto. Those other ones are just patches. So let's see. Got some shields, autos, and yeah, all those have to stay. So here's the decision. So this is a patch auto, so I kind of like that. This is a really nice big patch of that number. And then you have this kind of uh, flawless kind of mixture one. So that for me is an easy decision to take that one down. I like the patch, but definitely not as much as some of these others. So that's going to go there. And I'm going to guess and I'm going to put my captain's patch probably on the other side of this one. And there you go. There we have it. All right, now the horizontal. Horizontal is going to be a lot harder because I've been getting a lot of those lately. So don't mind my air conditioning. So these are all... All right, so these are my patch autos that are just nothing special. I mean, nice patches, but no shields or Nikes or anything like that. This is another layer of horizontal. And I think I have one more here. Now I could take down the gold bar, but that's a one of one. His rookie card I'm not going to take down. And then they're all shields. Okay. So, we have the gold bar we can take down, or one of these patch autos. Hmm. I do like those patch autos. I do have this, this booklet, which has a nice patch and an auto, and then it has a strange NFL logo up there that I don't know what that is. So, part of me is thinking of taking that booklet down. Hmm. You know what? I am going to do that, I believe. Because this one is graded. And it's going to need a little bit more space. Although it could fit there. Ugh, such a hard decision. In fact, I'm going to slide this one down and put this guy in his place. I think that makes the most sense. Maybe, maybe not. I really do like these patch autos, just like the patches on them. There was the other row of horizontals, but these are all high end. So I'm not going to take those down. And this was another row vertical, but again... High end. I'm not going to take those down. So there you have it. I took down this booklet. And I took down... Hard to do with one hand. This patch. And I replaced it with that. And the Captain Shield. Whew, I am definitely running out of uh, space and ideas. These other two will be up for sale probably either on my website or my Facebook group or my Facebook page, something like that, or maybe one of my selling groups. I'm not sure. For now, that is it, my friends. Pretty amazing mail day. Um, I thought after last week's mail day or two weeks ago, whatever that was, with the Shaq um, Reebok logo and Peyton Manning, that I wouldn't have one of those for a while, but yeah, this one was pretty crazy too. So anyway, none of us are going to say anything because you guys are all my friends and you would never wrap me out. That's what I'm going with. So anyway, if you like the content, please like the page. 
and uh, subscribe if you want to see what's next. I mean, as you can see, it's crazy in here. And uh, I'm always sharing something from my collection. And uh, if you want to see more of these types of videos and get some insights into the collection, subscribe to the channel and uh, see what more craziness I'll be up to. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll see you next time.